So the Bank of America Alaska Airlines Visa credit card has undergone some significant changes. So today we're going to do a full review of the card. This will be my first time reviewing this credit card. So for some of my subscribers, these changes won't be changes at all to you. Now, before we dive into the card, you should know that Alaska Airlines is part of the One World Alliance. So it has 23 partner airlines whom you could potentially book flights with on the Alaska Airlines site using Alaska Airlines miles. Some of my favorite One World Alliance partners are American Airlines and Qatar Airways, as I've booked reward flights with them for trips here in the US and to many different countries throughout the world. But with all that said, let's go ahead and dive into the card, starting with the annual fee. So the Alaska Airlines card has an annual fee of $95, which is not waived the first year. This is an increase from the $75 annual fee the card had prior to January 5th. Now, if you already have the car and your annual fee hits before February 28th, then you still only have to pay the $75 annual fee until 2024 comes around. Next, let's take a look at the sign up bonus. So as of the recording of this video, you're going to earn 70,000 Alaska miles and an Alaska companion fare after spending $3,000 on the car in the first 90 days of account opening. Now, as far as the 70,000 miles, per the points guy, Alaska miles are valued at 1.8 cents per mile, which is very good for an airline program. This means your 70,000 mile bonus will be valued at $1,260, which is nice. That's enough miles to fly round trip from Houston, Texas to Paris, France, and still have almost 20,000 miles left over. Now, there's nothing special about that route. I just looked it up because I'm thinking about visiting Paris again next year. Now, as far as the Alaskan companion fare that also comes with the bonus, when you as the car holder purchase a round trip coach ticket, you'll be able to purchase a companion ticket on that same flight for up to $122, which as you can imagine, could potentially save you a lot of money. So overall, this is a super solid sign up bonus. Next, let's take a look at the point earning categories on this card. First, you're going to earn three miles per dollar spent on Alaska airline purchases such as airfare. Now these next ones are updates to the card. You're now going to earn two miles per dollar gas stations on cable, streaming services, and local transit. You'll earn one mile per dollar spent on everything else. Overall, these are pretty decent for a mid-tier airline credit card. So that's the first positive change to the card. It's always a good thing to see these car issuers offering us more miles to use our cars to pay for our everyday expenses. Next, let's take a look at the benefits that come with this card. First, you and up to six companions are going to get your first check bag free. A check bag with Alaska Airlines would normally run you $30 each way, so this can be a huge benefit depending on how often you travel. You're also going to get priority boarding, which is another new benefit of this card. Priority boarding allows you to board ahead of the majority of other passengers, increasing your chance of not having to check your carry-on bag due to lack of overhead space. Next, you're going to get 20% back on Alaska Airlines in-flight purchases when you pay using this card. Moving on, another new benefit is that you're going to get $100 off an Alaska Plus membership annually when you pay for it using your card. This membership would get you into any of the nine Alaska lounges plus 90 other partner lounges and would normally cost between $550 and $650. But again, you're going to get $100 off when you pay for it using this card. Moving on, if you spend $6,000 or more in an account anniversary year, you'll get the famous Alaska's Famous Companion Fare, which is a $122 companion ticket, just like the one offered with the sign up bonus. Now, before the new changes to this card, you used to get the companion fare once a year just for having the card. Now you have to spend $6,000 a year to get it. So this definitely was a negative change, but we should expect a negative change or two with all the new benefits. All right, now moving on to the last benefit of the card, which is another new benefit. You'll earn an additional 10% bonus on all miles earned from purchases made using this card if you have an eligible Bank of America account. So for example, that means for every 1,000 miles you earn on purchases, you'll receive 1,100 miles just for having a Bank of America account, like a checking or savings. Now lastly, let's take a look at the insurances and protections that come with this card. You're gonna get trip cancellation and trip interruption insurance, trip delay protection, baggage loss and baggage damage protection, baggage delay protection, change fee protection, as well as pandemic coverage endorsement and special plan accommodations. So overall, good travel protections, as you can expect from a mid-tier airline credit card. So who do I think this card is for? I think this is an easy choice for individuals who fly Alaska at least three times a year and that know that they'll be spending at least $6,000 on the card in order to get that annual companion fare. 
The companion fare can more than cover the annual fee, but you have to earn it each year. And of course, have a companion to travel with. Outside of that, I would only consider this car if I were chasing sign-up bonuses. But this definitely is a solid mid-tier airline credit car, and overall, I think the changes made were decent, outside of no longer receiving that companion fare automatically each year. If you want to check out some other airline credit cards, I'll leave them on the screen for you. Or if you want to check out some cards that earn points that are more flexible, you can check out this playlist. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.